Hi, Chris here for Tank and Tank and welcome to the channel. Well, today we are going to have a look into the Microsoft Reliability History app. So let's get started now. The first thing will be how to access it. It's very simple. You press the search here or you can speak. If your Cortana is uh, set up, mine is not. You click here and you type R-E-L and normally this appears. If it does not, you can continue to type reliability history. Once it's there, you can simply click on that and this window will appear. So let me put it here okay, and zoom on it, like so. Basically what this is, it's the history of events that happen in your computer, but it's not a detailed one. It just tells you per day if you want, or if you go here, you have it per week as well if you want to, but let me go like this you can see it's a lot to ask right and uh, you can see it, it gives you the critical warning the normal warnings and the information events so we will go one by one i put it back to the critical events it's the first one on the list and basically this one tells you what things that happen quite often. If I put as days, you can see that almost every day I have these critical events here, huh? which is window was not shut down properly. But I know what it is. Basically, it's once my computer is off, I turn off the electricity. I unplug it. Most of you maybe will leave your computer on, but you can see that basically almost every day unless I leave it on the whole night uh, for whatever reason it is. I have this one here and you can if you click here view the technical details. Once you click on it this new window appears here and to exit you have to go to this arrow here. Once you have this you can see it's a little bit more details it tells you the dates and the time okay and that it was unexpected. I know what it is, I just told you a little bit earlier. Now those here are not attached to this. Basically this will be uh, the normal control panel, file, uh, edit, if, depending on what you have. Uh, it's for the folder as well uh, and tools. All right. This is basically what it is. To go back, the best is to click on the arrow here. Now we saw this one, we have the Normally, we have the second one on the list should be the warning. Here you can see, if you want, you can adjust it by clicking on this. If you view the details, it will tell you if there is an error. And if there is an error, it will tell you also the status, the number. So what you can do is you can do a right click here. Copy this, it doesn't really matter. All we have to do now is to find out what the error means. Go to your favorite search engine to paste the link and there you have. If you have user cancel installation and what it is, if you want to find out more about the error. Okay, so let's go back. Once we are here, I will try to show you another error that we didn't see the window was not properly shut down there is no error if you remember here yeah, all right so i want to show you if there is an error here you can select one and double click on it a new window appear and you can see you can copy it to the clipboard if you want to and uh, there was a problem with this program we didn't interact with window so you have more details here if you want to so i go back all right and then the last one will be the security update. This is just I for information and it tells you when uh, there was a window update and if it was successful or not. If it was not successful, the window update will be with this, uh, this question mark here and it will be within here. Another thing you can do is if you have window installed for a long time, you can go left and right. But for me, I cannot because as you can see, this is a new install of Windows, right? I just changed my hard disk. Uh, that, uh, I had a problem with the uh, uh, thunderstorm fry my hard disk. I had no other choices but to change. Although I recall the video, I did not show you a detailed install on it. But if you want to find out 
just leave a comment down below and I will be glad because I feel it I can do a tutorial about how to install an SSD if you want to or an M.2. I will be glad to do a video on that if you want to. That's it for today and you can do your YouTube things. Like if you want to, subscribe, you may as well, or press the bell icon if you want to be notified every time I post a new video. However, if you do not like this video, simply leave a comment down below and tell me why so. I will try my best to do better for you next time. So stay safe guys and bye now!